Hello and welcome to the special segment called as MC Pro Selects Talk of the Day. I'm your host Nikki Mirchandani, and in this segment, we bring to you fundamentally strong investment stock ideas. Today's pick is Craftsman's Automation. Let's get to know more about the company, which stands out as a top auto component manufacturer in India with a primary focus on the commercial vehicle segment. Serves as a favorable investment choice for those looking to leverage the upswing in the CV sector in India. Notably, its client base comprises well-known names such as Joe Cleland, uh, Tara Motors, Aisha, Escorts, further solidifying the position in the industry. What are the key triggers working in the favor of the company? Let's start off with the Q3 performance. The company experienced a 50.08% jump year on year in net revenue attributed to an increase in content per vehicle. The consolidation of DR Axi and DRA India also contributed to the boost in the top line performance. EBITDA margin contracted by 320 basis points, primarily due to rise in raw material prices. On the positive note, the aluminium product segment exhibited strong growth, increasing around that 27% year-on-year marker, and the segment margin expanded by 950 basis points, indicating the positive impact of operating leverage. These financial indicators provide the insights into the company performance and key factors influence the margins and the revenue put together. Second component, well, let's just say the factor, aluminium product segment. The aluminium die casting business is on an upward trajectory, experiencing growth. The orders received in the last two years are now translating into tangible results. Anticipation of advanced emission norms is expected to drive an increase in the aluminium usage per vehicle. Furthermore, broader adoption of electric vehicles, EVs, is foreseen to contribute to higher consumption of aluminium aligning with the industry's evolving demands. These factors collectively position the company well in a changing automotive landscape. Acquisition of DR Axion, DRA, is also working well in the favor of the company. The acquisition of DRA, a specialized uh, manufacturer of aluminium cylinders for passenger vehicle, is viewed as a strategic diversification move for the company, DRA has achieved a significant milestone by securing an order from Hyundai for its upcoming Telegram plan. This order is anticipated to play a substantial role, contributing an additional 5-10% to of the revenue growth of DRA, showcasing the positive impact of strategic acquisition on the company's business expansion and the revenue streams. Now, the powertrain business is, uh, you know, going forward is expected to do well. The demand in both the commercial vehicle and the construction equipment segment has been subdued primarily due to the high base in the previous year. However, the management remains optimistic, anticipating a pickup in demand for both CV and CE segments in the future. Now, industrial and engineering segment, there is a positive trend in the revenue from this segment with a notable 16% year-on-year growth in Q3 FI24. The revenue traction has led to 50 basis points year-on-year -year expansion in the EBIT margin. The management remains optimistic about the continued recovery in the segment, citing expectation of the growth driven by the fast-moving consumer goods, automotive and pharmaceutical business put together. Greenfield expansion, let's talk about that. The company has revealed plans to establish a greenfield unit in Rajasthan. The initial phase there will be an addition of aluminium products capacity with the next 18 to 24 months, followed by the incorporation of capacities for other two segments in phase two, uh, expected to be completed within the span of 30 to 60 months. The estimated capital expenditure for phase one capacity is around 150 crore. This expansion initiative is strategically aimed at tapping into clients in the two vehicle, uh, passenger vehicle and farm equipment sector in the northern India, indicating a targeted approach to the regional market growth of the company. Talk about the valuation. Well, the stock is currently trading at a multiple of 21 times the estimated earnings for the financial year 2025. The valuation is considered considerable, especially when factoring in the growth potential of the company. Risks? A couple of them. While the company faces potential challenges as in any weakness in demand has the potential to impact revenue growth, additionally, a significant rise in raw material prices could pose a considerable risk affecting the company's overall financial performance. With this, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in.